There's still a few more weeks left before Labor Day. If you want to get in another road trip, we have some good news for you. Gasoline prices are pretty darn good right now. Yeah, they've been dropping all summer, and that's been great for business. Tourism numbers are up in Connecticut. News 8's Stephanie Galehart live in Brantford tonight. Look at how the price at the pump is affecting travel. Stephanie. Traffic is heavy going through Brantford right now in part mainly because many families are taking off for this weekend uh, on road trips before school starts next week. Gas prices here are 277, but we found gas even cheaper at many stations around Connecticut today. 259 a gallon is what we saw at many stations, and that's 4 cents cheaper than the national average. Well, they're cheaper than they were last year and uh, cheaper in a long time. So that's why we're taking a vacation this year. James Harkin is planning his road trip. So are others, thanks to plummeting prices at the pump. It's enough every little bit we need. So we are seeing a difference here. So it'll help. This is the 11th consecutive week gas prices have dropped in the state. AAA reports the current average price for gas in Connecticut is $2.70. A year ago, it was $3.77. According to AAA, Hartford and New London have the cheapest gas. Lower gas prices affect tourism because people now have more money in their pocket to spend on things that they may have considered a luxury in the past. They can, they'll go out to eat at a little bit more expensive restaurants. They'll stay at better hotels. Hotel occupancy for the state's up a little bit more than 5%. Uh, through the you know, year to date. For New England, it's around 4%, and for the country, it's around a little bit more than 2%. Why? I think, you know, Governor Miller's investment in tourism is really beginning to pay off in big ways. It's resulting in more, more visitors uh, spending more money and staying longer. The Deputy Commissioner of Connecticut's Department of Economic and Community Development says Connecticut has seen a strong summer tourism season this year, and it will only continue through Labor Day weekend with people likely to visit places like Mystic and our amusement parks, not to mention spend money at Connecticut's two casinos. We're just looking forward to our trip now that we can, we can do this. Thanks to declining oil prices, Bankrate.com predicts that drivers in this country will save about $450 alone on gas this year. Reporting live in Brantford, Stephanie Galehard, News 8.